Hello, today I'm here with a new video and I hope you are okay because before I start filming I accidentally dropped you. Um, but it seems okay so I hope everything is okay with you. Today I'm going to test out a new palette and I have bought a lot of palettes this last week, two weeks. I have bought five new eyeshadow palettes and that is too much even to be me. So I have bought three from Juvia's Place and two from Blush Tribe but today we're going to test out one from Blush Tribe because this palette, one of these palettes, is the palette that I have most looking forward to to use. I bought the Hasina 2 palette and also the Blossom palette but it's the Blossom palette we're going to use today because this palette I have wanted for such a long time but now I finally bought This is uh, in the brand Blush Tribe and it's a cruelty free brand of course because I only show cruelty free products on my channel and this palette looks like this so it's a rainbow palette it's very pretty and it's all mattes so I'm going to use this today and I don't fully have decided what colors I want to use but I think I want to use I want to use one of the yellow ones I think I'm going to use this one and then I'm thinking about this red shade and one of the green shades and maybe a blue shade but I don't know and I was thinking about doing something new something new makeup wise and I do I have to <coughs> turn the light on as you may know the winter is coming and when the winter is coming to Sweden the light is pretty shitty I don't know if this I think I can fix this even better but I maybe think this is a little bit better soon I have to take out my studio lights when I'm filming but for us now I hope this would be okay but it seems pretty dark but I hope we can live with this and I will stop talking and start doing my makeup okay so I have zoomed you in a little bit and I will start with my eyeshadow primer and I always use eyeshadow primer even though it's new shadows I want to use my eyeshadow primer because I know how shadows that I'm used to work with work with an eyeshadow primer and that's why I want to use it with new shadows so I can compare because if I'm not using eyeshadow primers and I think the shadows is not good I don't know if it's the shadows or just that I didn't use eyeshadow primers so a little disclaimer so I don't really know how this is going to be, but I think I'm doing Anjelka Nyqvist. She is the one that I've seen this at and she used to do two colors in the crease. I'm sure that other people also do this, but that's where I've seen it and that's what I want to try today. So I will take the red one, put it in my outer corner of my eye and also in half of my crease I think so I take a brush from Real Techniques and we just go with it I really like this color now as I'm just starting to work with it it's a really easy color to work with and I think it looks really good um, the name is Rose so it's not a completely red color, it's a little bit rosy of course, but it's not pink. So something like this. I take a Real Techniques brush and put it in my outer corner as well. Mm -hmm. I really like this color. I think it looks really good. Hope you can see it. It's not too strong red and it's not 
a dark one and I really like that because it's not always that you want a darker red I really love this color I think it's pretty okay so then I will have another I think I want to use this brush again okay I'm going to do the other eye as well and do the same okay so I think I will take some one of these two I haven't even swatched this shadow so this seems like left gamble I think I want to take this clover or I take mm, no I think I take this flex 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 and I take the same brush and I really love this brush it's from real techniques maybe I said it and it's B04 and from the faux low blue collection and I really love it because it's such a pointy blending brush and this green it's pretty good as well these colors are super easy to work with I really like it and I think I will have it somewhat like this something like that and now I will take a yellow one and put in that little gap and I don't know if I want to take daisy or sunflower but I think I will take sunflower that is the darker one and I take a little brush for this a smaller brush, a little brush, a smaller brush and as you know, <laughs> if you have been watching me, you know that I love yellow. It's my favorite when it comes to eyeshadows. But I think yellow is a hard color to do. I have come across very bad yellows in my makeup life. And not so many good yellows. But this yellow... This is good. This is really good. But I don't know how this eye turned out. This seems a little bit strange. It seems like I'm trying to do a flag or something. This is <laughs> not my usual thing to do when it comes to makeup. To have all these kinds of colors on my eye. And not in this way either. So. I don't know what I think. Maybe this was not a good eyeshadow combo. But if you never try, you will never know. So I really don't know what I think about this. I think I look a little bit crazy. But maybe now when I don't have any lashes on, I don't have any other makeup on. So maybe it will look better when I have my base on and all that yes but it was a very good yellow shade some shadows I've tried and put them on top of each other it just turned out to a brown blur or a gray blur or something but these do not do that these stay on good and the yellow is yellow the green is green and the red is red so then I really like, but I look like a crazy person, I think. This was not my jam at all, but it's always fun to try something new. But I will have some more green, I think. I think I look like a kid that tried to make flag and it turned out like poop. Something like that. I don't like this. Maybe it's the colors that make me not like it. I don't know. It looks a little bit weird. Maybe it looks better if I have some more makeup on. I don't know. So okay, this is the start of my crazy eyes. 
I don't know if I hate it or if I like it or if I'm okay with it or if I just want to take it all the way because I don't know what I think about this but I think I will fix the rest of my makeup and then we can do the under eyes together so I will fix the rest of my makeup and we will see if it looks better with makeup on instead of just three crazy colors on my eyes so I will come back with foundation and stuff okay so the face is on and now I'm doing my under eyes and I'm thinking about taking a red pencil in my waterline uh, I'm gonna use Anger Mood from Linda Hallberg and I'm going to use the green and the yellow underneath my eyes so I'm thinking about taking the green out here and the yellow on the inside and so I don't I hope I don't fuck this up but I can because under eye shadowing is not my greatest thing in life <laughs> and I see now that I am looking pale as fuck that's not good either the camera when I put on my foundation sometimes it's like the camera is going ape shit and don't know what it's doing anymore and I don't know why it is it in the camera it looks like I'm white as fudge in my face but I'm not so yeah if I do like this I look like super pale but in real life I don't so I don't know what's up with my camera why it hates me that much apparently do I don't know if this is better because now it seems too yellow and I'm like want to give up this whole YouTube thing because I hate this thing I hate the fucking lights I hate the fucking winter and okay that's it so I'm taking the yellow in my inner corner and I can't say now that this is not my best makeup work but it's maybe not my worst either I think I look a little bit crazy the green under here was not a good idea but it's there and I can't do anything about it right now so we have to live with it and now I will look even crazier because I'm taking the red pen okay so this is the finished look the lighting is shit I feel like shit so this is the finished look I I don't like it I can say that I don't like it I think it uh, I love the shadows I hate the look can I say it like that uh, I hope you understand the shadows are really easy to work with and they are super easy to blend super easy to use super easy to apply the fallout was almost nothing and it's such a good palette and it's such a nice palette with I like that it is two of the purple, two of the blue, two of the green, two yellow, yeah two pink and everything I love that it's very easy if you want only a yellow look you can only take these two and have a great look with that or you can do like me and fuck everything up and look like a flag or something if you want to do that but I really like the palette it's super easy to work with it's all the colors you need and it's really really good so I like it a lot I will use this more and more and more and it will come a review of it I have to be better to doing reviews on my palettes. I like use them once on camera and then I use them off camera but I never talk about them afterwards. I only do these kinds of first impressions and I want to start to doing my reviews on palettes and I hope you would like me 
if I do that. Oh god. I'm just so irritated of myself with the lighting and the how it turned out. Because I was planning to film another video, but I think I will do it even though it looks like poop. Because <laughs> I don't have so much time to film anymore. So the end of my first impression. I will try to be a little bit more positive and happy. Love the palette. Love the shadows I tried. Super easy. If you want to support an indie brand and you want a really fun and colorful rainbow palette, this is the palette for you. I can leave, I will leave the site so you can buy it for yourself. It's a really fun palette. I like the packaging. It's a really good palette. I really like it. I like the colors I used, maybe not together, maybe not like this, but I like the colors I use. I like the palette. So yeah, I can really recommend this after my first try. And it will come more looks, I will use this more and it will come a review on this palette when I have used it a little bit more. But my first impression, impression is good, it's just me that's shit. Palette's good, me not so good, so yeah. I really hope you like this video, even though it's not one of my best videos. So I will stop talking and I hope you like this. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!